Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am so excited today because I've been waiting for months to bring you this Project Pan introduction. This is called the Women Who Rock Project Pan and it was created by myself, the diva next door, Cece, and Ruth from Ruth Foley and this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. We worked on this project and we had so much fun coming up with a whole bunch of women who rock, quotes that go with them or prompts that go with them. And I just had the best time picking out my items. I have had my items picked out for like a month now. And I think that I kind of changed my mind about maybe two of them, but I'm so excited and I cannot wait to tell you what I am putting into this project. This is a year long project pan and you can roll in all the prompts at once. You can roll them in roulette style. You can just bring in a few at a time. Whatever goals you wanna set for yourself is fine. I am choosing to bring them all in at once because I just was so excited and I wanted to hit the ground running. So if you'd like to see the projects or if you'd like to see the products that I'm pulling into this project, then stay tuned. So the first prompt is for Spice Girls, a product you really, really, really want to pan. <laughs> See what we did there. <laughs> so I pulled in this MAC um, blush in the shade Glow Play. My goal is to hit pan. I have no idea how long that's going to take me because I've not used this blush a ton. This is in the shade Blush Please. There is a swatch of it and here is it on my hand oh my god i'm so excited because i have not really used this because it hasn't been in a project so i'm like really excited to use it so my goal is to hit pan now i have either marked my products or i have taken pictures of them because this go around i really wanted to take pictures and try to do progress goals so i can actually see my progress instead of just going i think it looked like this and I was trying to get better with that. So yeah, there's my first product. For Beyonce, Run the World Girls, a product from a female owned brand. And that I chose my Gerard Cosmetics eye base. This is my favorite eye base. Here's what it is looking like right now. I think I'm over halfway done with this. My goal is to finish it within this project. And I don't think that I'm gonna have a problem doing that at all. I use it every time I do my makeup. For Helen Reddy, I am woman, hear me roar. That's the quote she came up with. That is a product that gives you confidence. And I decided to pull in a foundation for this and I'm pulling in my Physician's Formula Foundation. My goal is to use this 12 times. I figure if I use it once a month, then at least I can share progress with this with other foundations that I have because I have a ton of foundations in different projects. For Christina McAuliffe, she is the um, teacher that went up into space on Challenger and died on that flight. Um, so we came up with the prompt, a rising star. So um, a product that rises or rose to the occasion. And for me, that is this Cover FX face palette. I have not used this in forever. Amy from Curly Loves Beauty and Books gifted this to me and it's one of my favorite products in my collection. I think that's why I avoid using it. But here's what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a brightener, a highlighter, well, a couple highlighters, a contour, a blush. I, I use this palette and it suits my complexion perfectly. So my goal is to use this 12 times because I'm splitting time with this in other um, face palettes as well. So there you go. Um, Rachel Platten, she is the one that wrote Fight Songs. So this is a product you have to fight to open, have to fight to use up. And for that, I chose to put in my Tarte Fake Awake. I feel like I've been using this product for a million years and it's never gonna be finished because I only ever use it in my waterline when I do my makeup. I really enjoy this and I will absolutely buy another one when it's done. It's the perfect, um, 
shade for my waterline and it really does fake awake me it brightens it brightens me right up and I absolutely love this product so my goal is to finish this um, next prompt is Rosa Parks a stand-up product so for that I chose my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder I think I've only used this powder like I bet less than a handful of times and I wanted to get more love on it, so my goal is to use this 24 times. For Princess Diana, something tough but beautiful. So for that, I chose this blush from Cloven Hollow in the shade Nakey. This bottle is like indestructible. I mean, you can like probably beat this over anything and it's not gonna break, but it is an absolutely beautiful product. And this is the shade Nakey. They do not make these anymore, which is really sad because it's a lovely product. It, it is one of my favorites. I hardly use it though, because again, I'm panning so much, but look at that shade, isn't that gorgeous? And it's liquid and it just blends, 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 and you can just blend it out and build it up as much or as little as you want. And I've really been loving like neutral blushes lately, so I think that it's gonna be a really nice addition to my panning products. So that is, my goal is to use it 12 times. I can't remember if I said that or not. Next up um, for Anne Frank, something that makes you feel brave. And for me, it, that's a bright lipstick or a dark lipstick. So if I chose to pull in this MAC lipstick in the shade Bated Breath, and my goal is to use this 24 times. Um, let me do a swatch of it right here. It is a beautiful dark berry color, but it's definitely outside my comfort zone. I'm usually wearing neutrals or no lipstick at all. Like I'll use a gloss or just like a neutral pencil. So I go, let's use it 24 times. We'll see how that goes. Um, I really like it, but I don't know. Um, Jane Goodall, a cruelty-free product. And so for that, I chose my ABH Clear Brow Gel. My goal is to finish it. I don't know that I will because I'm still using another one from Ulta, but this is my favorite brow gel. The Ulta one's okay too. Yeah, the Ulta one's good too. So I, I prefer not to buy from ABH in the future. So I'm gonna use this. I have a couple that I got from NYX recently that I'm trying as well. So my goal is to finish this. I don't know that I will, but I'm certainly going to try. Next up, Martina McBride. This one's for the girls. It's a song she sang. I would sing it, but I, I, my vocals aren't warmed up yet. Maybe for an update. Something that makes you feel beautiful. And for me, that is highlighter. So I am pulling in this Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. And this is in the shade Spotlight. Rosie, what are you doing? She's a cuckoo head right now. And let me get this on my hand. This is such a gorgeous product. I have this one and I have, where is it? It's right there. Um, I don't even know if you can really see it. Maybe a little bit. It is a gorgeous highlight. It just blends out beautifully. Um, it brightens my cheek without making me look like I have a stripe on it. My goal is to finish it. And when I do, I will probably repurchase it because I really enjoy it. But I wanna use it before it goes bad and stuff like that. So I thought, let me put it into this project because I'm trying to put products that I really like in this project so I can get some use out of them. Next up is for Katy Perry. She sang Roar, a product that makes you feel fierce. So I'm choosing to put in this Hourglass Diffused Light Powder. Um, I love a powder and I especially love a powder if I feel like I can make a dent in it. Something that makes me feel fierce is when my makeup is like just on point and I know that it's blended good and everything else. So that is why I'm pulling this in. I feel like this powder really gives me a really nice airbrush look, which is I think what it's for. And it gives just enough of like a sheen that it doesn't make me feel shiny. It's not shiny or anything for me. It just looks good. So I wanted to bring this in because it will make me feel fierce. So Sacagawea, a product that helps out your skin or makeup look. So for that, I chose to put in my MAC Fix 
Plus. I've never used this product before, if you can believe it. I know, I know, I know. What kind of YouTuber am I? So my goal is to use half of it. The problem with this though is that I am going to be fighting time with this and two other makeup finishing sprays. So I'm hoping that I can finish half like my goal is so it's probably to get down to like the middle of this F here so we'll see fingers crossed for Frida Kahlo a pop culture product it could also be a Latino brand so I pulled in this Fenty Beauty highlighter and it's got this was on my chopping block for a while and I did not um, I did not declutter it so let me, I'm going to put both of these here and then this is them mixed. Okay. So this is in the shade Mean Money and Hustle Baby. My goal is to use this 12 times. And here are the swatches. Here is the one side and then the other side and then the mixed together. And that's what I would do is really just use them mixed together. So yeah. For Madeline Albright, her quote says, it took me a long while to develop a voice and now that I have it, I'm not going to be silent. So this is a product wanting to be noticed in your collection. So for me, that is this ColourPop highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. Um, I have been staring at this and it's been saying, use me, use me forever. And I have been ignoring it. So here's a swatch. I'm sure most of you know what this looks like. It is a blinding highlight right there, gorgeous. I have a feeling it will be a really nice brow bone and inner corner highlight for me as well. And my goal is to use that 12 times. Um, next up for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She said, people ask me when there will be enough women on the court. My answer is when there are nine. So our prompt is to use a nine pan palette nine times. I am deciding to put in my Suva Beauty Saffron palette. I love this palette. So I will have no problem reaching into this nine times. I don't have to use all of the shades nine times. I just have to reach into this palette nine times and I won't have a problem doing that at all. I have used this before, I'm able to make a complete look out of it and I really, really enjoy it. So that is for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Next up is for Harriet Tubman, a black owned makeup brand. And for that, I am pulling in my Uoma concealer. Um, this is in the shade Fair Lady T2. I have not used this yet, so I'm curious to see if I will like it. This is more of like a blemish concealer for me. Um, so my goal is to use this 12 times. I don't often use concealers that are the same shade as my face. So usually I use them to brighten up my under eyes. So we'll see how this goes. I had a thing with buying concealers a little while ago and I don't know why, cause I don't use a ton of it, but I think I'm trying to find like my perfect concealer and I haven't found it yet. Well, I found it. I really like it. I think it's my perfect one, but now it's discontinued. So we'll see how this one fares. So this is in for Harriet Tubman. Next up for Julia Child, a foon themed item. So I am pulling in my Sweetie Pie bronzer. I had this in a project last year and I love this. Um, it is looking used. You can see that it's, I've worn off some of the pattern. Um, my goal is to use this 24 times. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I really, really like it. There is a swatch of it right there. And it smells like peaches, so I'm not mad at that. And my goal is to use that 24 times. Next up is for Serena Williams. She said, I don't like to lose at anything, yet I have grown most not from victories, but setbacks. Um, a project, a product that you used to hate but learn to love, and for me, that is brow pomade. I was doing makeup with Jen from Project Beauty one time, and I was like, oh, I don't have any brow hairs here, and she's like, oh, you have to use a pomade, and da da da. She showed me how to use it, and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. I don't love using it in my whole brow, but I love using it in that particular area. So I don't have a goal for this product. It's just to use it because I don't, I don't use it and I would like to. So this is in the project just to use and see how much usage I get. 
for Maya Angelo, she said, or Angelo, she said, you may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. So this is a product that gives volume or plumps, and for me, I am pulling in a mascara. This is the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara from Wander Beauty. I think this might be a tubing mascara. I'm not sure. I have to look into that. But I will be pulling this one in as soon as I'm done with another one. I kind of rotate them in and out every like four to six months, depending on how how much makeup I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing a ton of makeup, like this summer, the mascara that I opened, it's only going to be used for three to four months because I used it a lot and it was open and closed a lot. But if I'm not really wearing a ton of makeup, sometimes I'll stretch it to six months um, because I'm not opening the tube and contaminating it as much, if that makes any sense. Um, but if it ever gives me a problem, then I obviously get rid of it right away. So my goal is to finish this and I don't know what that means, whether I'll actually finish it or whether it'll be like a three to four month or four to six month item. So we'll see once I open it, I can report back to you kind of where that's going. And then last but not least, Marie Curie. I am one of those who think, like Nobel, that humanity will draw more good than evil from new discoveries. So that is a product that I have newly discovered and I am bringing in, oh, very excited for this, my NARS Creamy Bronzer in Laguna 01. This has been raved about all over YouTube. Um, Jen from Project Beauty raves about this. Oh, it's the first time I'm swatching it. There it goes. It's all disturbed now. I'm very sad. And here is a swatch. That's going to be a really nice shade for me. Very excited. I was a little worried because I hadn't swatched it before putting it in this project, but I'm like, everybody likes it so much. It's got to be okay, right? So, yay. Um, and Jen from Project Beauty goes on about this. Um, Jaylon from J Loves Makeup, Lauren May Beauty, like tons of people go on and on about this bronzer. So I am super excited to use this. I have it in for 12 um, use, uses. So we'll see, maybe I'll amend my goal. Um, but I have, you know me and my projects, I have a ton of things on the go. I am gonna be um, closing down some um, projects, number one, because I've finished the items, and number two, because um, I want to start a couple new projects and I want to wind down a couple of ones that are older. So yeah, this is my introduction for the Women Who Rock Project Pan. You guys, so excited. Ruth and Cece and I had a great time going back and forth. Um, you know, after this year, we're hoping that we can... Um, open it up again with new new people in and out. I mean, this this just has been so much fun and we've gotten a lot of feedback from a few people um, on maybe things to do for next year and stuff like that. So we're super excited to get this started. So I hope you join us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please subscribe. Let me know down below if you're doing this project um, so that I can come and check out your channel or your Instagram page. If you're just doing it on your own because you don't you know, film or take pictures of your things, then let me know that as well. And let me know how you're doing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.